everybody and welcome to the first official episode of Jump Cut where we shine a light on local Philly creatives and we're here with Yusha Johnson and to talk about his film Hood Life. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about your film Hood Life? Um, the film Hood Life, it started in the class that Mr. Joshua taught in Youth Bell and it was a class of maybe eight students that all came together with the film. Yeah. And um, Everybody had a little different idea and pitch into the film to make it like a whole or whatever. It was just like, it was honestly my first film I ever did, to yeah. be honest. And it was, it felt good, you know? It was different for me, like the, the log line. Like, what do you think like the summary of the film would be? Um, well, I could say it was about two kids, two brothers, siblings, yeah. revenging their father's death because a crooked cop killed their father. It was like, it was a whole crazy scene into the movie. And um, yeah, that was basically it, that's a summary. Too. So I know like films are started off with an idea. So what was like the first idea that made you wanna make that? My first, the first idea, um, it was kinda, cause that wasn't the movie plot at first. Right. Like everybody started adding things to it. But my first idea about the movie was like about how the hood is basically. Mm -hmm. That's why we named it Hood Life. Yeah. And how about how about all this these killings are happening, um drugs are coming in and out yeah. of the country and cities, like so that was basically my first idea about the movie and how it came about. So like how did you try to incorporate like Phil Philly like Philly hood life inside of your Um because honestly, I think Philly got a lot of crooked cops. <laughs> honestly, because I dealt with a few crooked, cro crooked cops with me and my dad. And, and oh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to get into all that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Philly has like a lot of crooked cops and all uh, that people might not even know about. So, so uh, like real life experiences? Real life experiences, yeah. definitely 100% real life experiences. Yeah, because I need to collaborate <clears throat> on the film with Lowell. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely with Lowell, yeah, yeah, and a few other students, but yeah, I was the um, camera guy and Lowell was the director, so. Yeah. So, did this make you grow closer with Lowell, or were you guys like already? Me and Lowell, yeah, we was already close. I guess you could say it did draw us closer because <laughs> like, once it premiered and all, you know, yeah. we came in the suits, you know, we felt yeah. fly or whatever. So like, I don't know, it was like a little brotherly moment and everything, we accomplished something together that got premiered. So like, that was an amazing feeling to be honest. So it drew us closer, yes. Yeah, do you feel like that helped you figure out what you wanted to do as far as filmmaking? Or it just gave you like a creative spin on it helped me, well, yeah, it helped me a lot. Mr. Joshua especially helped me a lot because I was always a photographer. I never oh. really did filmmaking like that. So it definitely did open my eyes up. And now I want to do like more music videos, mm -hmm. like little scenes and like for like, if I made a music video, I would have like a little movie scene in it before the music mm -hmm. video start now. You know what I mean? Yeah, always the best, like a little the baby. Yeah, 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 type. Like to make it way more interesting and yeah. keeping people like focused on the video, so. Do you have like a favorite movie to go back on that inspires you to film make? Hmm. The main movie is Narnia. Really? Narnia is my favorite movie, all tops. And that's because when I was younger, I always wondered how they got like, how they did the CGI and everything. Mm. Like it was so amazing. And that was like my favorite movie, yeah. Just yeah. leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was my favorite movie. Now it's time for the challenge part of the show where our guest has to complete a challenge in the next two minutes. In this challenge, we're doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge, but instead of saying Chubby Bunny while we shove marshmallows in our mouth for the next two minutes, we have to say jump cut. So right, cool. I'm starting the timer now. Okay. Jump cut. Oh. <laughs> Don't cut. Don't cut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
so <laughs> apparently, apparently he won. I only got like five marshmallows in my mouth because um, I thought I could. He put 11. You put 11 yeah, in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know how you did that. Yeah, for more, can you subscribe to Big Picture Alliance and check the link below to watch the full movie Hood Life. And for more um, about Yusha, go on to his platforms. Social media. Um, follow me on Instagram at astro.skrilla. All music platforms is yeah. astro.skrilla. But that's all for today. Hope you like it and subscribe. <laughs>